Hello everyone, I'm Sini Saren. Mildred asked me to give you a presentation on a topic that interests me. And I'm going to talk to you today about sustainable tourism. First, let me tell you a little bit about myself. After that, I will tell you what sustainable tourism is based on what I have learned through my studies. After that, I will talk about how sustainable tourism is implemented and developed in Finland. Finally, I will share my findings on sustainable tourism in Costa Rica. But first, a little bit humor. It's uh, very exciting and tense for me to give this presentation and perhaps with uh, the help of these few pictures uh, of Finnishness, you can better understand why performing is often quite tense for us Finns. So, Finnish nightmares. Uh, first of all, new people always tense us. This example is very commonplace situation on the bus in Finland and how we think if someone is sitting next to us. Strange, isn't it? And we don't do small talk. Or if someone ever makes a mistake of talking to us, we are very brief and uh, we are not uh, rude. It's more natural for us to be quiet and talk to strangers. We are a little weird in a good way. And then in connection with this presentation, my English is not very good, so forgive me for any language mistakes. And one of our most horrific nightmares is that we have to perform in public. So hopefully with my excitement, you will talk something about responsible tourism and at the same time, you may learn something about Finnishness. So I am 33 years old tourism student from Finland. These pictures are from my hometown of Tampere. My own house is located in the countryside, uh, a short drive from this town. And if anyone doesn't know where Finland is located, then here is the map. Finland is located in northern Europe. Uh, I'm studying tourism in Finland. In fact, I studied two different degrees in the tourism industry. I studied tourism at Savonia University of Applied Sciences and at the University of Lapland with a master's degree in social sciences, majoring in tourism research. As my studies progress, my goal is to uh, also study environmental sciences and maybe also future research. But I will tell what interests me the most in the tourism industry in the future. So let's see. Currently, my biggest interest in sustainable tourism is that uh, is why I'm talking about to you it today. I have been uh, on an internship in uh, Costa Rica since November 2021. So I have returned a few days ago to Finland and I will finish my internship here virtually. The reason why I wanted to do an internship in Costa Rica was among other things that I wanted to see how responsible tourism is implemented there. In addition, I'm fascinated by the nature of Costa Rica and its rich biodiversity. Uh, at the first internship place, I worked at National Wildlife Refuge and learned about volunteer tourism as a form of tourism. 
and the work of volunteer coordinators. Duties included, among others, activities uh, such as monitoring and conservation of sea turtles and beach cleaning up. Uh, the work included working day and night. Many activities included a lot of physical work. In addition, I conducted a responsibility survey for the internship. At a second internship place, I worked for the La Cruz Regional Chamber of Commerce and Tourism Development Association on an international Costa Azul tourism development project. My role in the project was to plan and develop activities from the perspective of responsible tourism. In addition to Project work, I made marketing plans, graphic design uh, to advertising and proposal uh, for the development of responsible tourism for ASCA Tours partner companies. And in third internship, uh, I learned about ecotourism. The internship was located in a small village in the middle of the cloud forests. I participated in the constructions of the greenhouse and other maintenance works. Next, what is sustainable tourism? Sustainable tourism can be defined as tourism that maximizes the positive impacts of tourism and minimizes the negative ones. You can read here the definition of sustainable tourism by World Tourism Organization. Sustainable tourism then is closely connected to a more general concept, sustainable development. Sustainable tourism often focuses on one of three main areas, economic, social, cultural or environmental. Economic sustainable Sustainability can refer to the destination community benefiting from tourism financially. This is not a given as profits often leak away from the destination, especially if destination is too dependent on big, big one international companies. Tourism is social culturally sustainable when the relationship between tourists and the host community is built on mutual uh, respect and tourism does not harm the culture. Sustainable tourism aims to protect to the local culture against cultural commerce commercializations uh, yeah uh, socially sustainable tourism also emphasize the role of the local population as business owners and tourism planners. Environmentally sustainable tourism ensure the protection of local natural resources and environmentally sustainable ecotourism educates tourists, tourists about environmental issues during traveling. The most essential issues in ecotourism is minimizing waste productions, improving waste management, and using energy as, as efficiently as possible in all travel-related activities, including accommodation. Uh, the focus has switched from minimizing the negative impacts to maximizing the positive impacts, creating something new and even a whole new way of thinking about traveling and tourism has evolved. One of these new phenomena is regenerative tourism. Regenerative tourism changes people, travel destination, local communities and society. The purpose of regenerative uh, tourism is to make destinations better place to live and visit and the well-being of 
locals should always be the priority. Uh, this slide tells you whose responsibility. In practice, the responsibility affects with everyone involved in tourism in one way or another. The tourist has a responsibility when he is choosing things related to the trip. Among other things, the private sector provides a framework for responsible to, for, uh, responsibility tourism. The third sector is challenging us to take more responsible action. The public sector legislates and provides infrastructure. The media shares information. Educational institutions are training future professionals and doing research work. Opinion leaders are sharing information and sparking the discussion. Tourism has both good and bad effects. I will tell you more about them next. There are some positive effects of tourism here. Uh, the good economic effects include the employment effect of tourism, the investment in infrastructure in the region and the diversification of the sector. Social cultural positive effects include maintaining, maintaining uh, the vitality of the local cultural heritage. The benefits of tourism for the locals and increasing intercultural encounters. Uh, environmental impacts include investing in nature conserv conservation, protecting of biodiversity, and increasing environmental awareness. Negative eco economic effects can include rising prices and the fact that financial income does not always end up in the local community. Social cultural impacts may include growing crime, loss of authenticity, or conflicts between locals and tourists. Environmental impacts can include erosion, waste problems, and climate change. Next, I will present a few examples of responsible tourism in Finland. In the pictures of this slide, you can see the four seasons of Finland, spring, summer, autumn and winter, and how different our nature is in different seasons. It's one of the goals of sustainable tourism in Finland that we want to, uh, that tourists are uh, visiting in Finland all year round. Uh, Finland has various responsibility certificates in use, both international and Finns. Next, I present a significant label of Finnish responsibility. First, I will tell you a little bit about the background. For the fourth year in a row, Finland has been named the happiest country in the world according to the 2021 World Happiness Report. And we Finns largely attribute our happiness to our connection to nature. Our lakes, rivers and forests not only feed us in Finland, but also provides with natural well-being and a place to slow down. Therefore, Visit Finland approach to uh, to sustainability is to nurture, conserve, and preserve what is most important. The pure and pristine nature, the lifestyle that is so strongly rooted in it, and our culture that celebrates equality. Elements like such as equality, integrity, safety, social progression, and freedom are the cornerstones of Finnish society. Uh, this, the Sustainable Travel Finland program and label are designed to promote responsible tourism in Finland. The idea of Sustainable Travel Finland, 
Finland program is to provide companies and destinations with a sustainable development path that makes it easier to adopt sustainable practices and choices in the everyday business. STF also encourages uh, collaboration between the government, regional tourism bodies and companies in applying all parties are working together to ensure a responsible and a sustainable future for tourism is in Finland. Next, I will show a video which is made by Visit Finland on the topic. So just a second, I will start the video. Climate change is the world's greatest environmental threat today. In the Arctic region, the climate is triple the speed compared to the rest of the world. That is why now it's time to do this together. We at Visit Finland have developed a nationwide sustainable travel Finland program. The goal is ambitious, to change the entire travel industry and create a new normal. In Finland, the program is developed in cooperation with Finnish government, regions and companies. The program is designed to nurture, conserve and preserve what is most important to us, Finland's unspoiled natural beauty, as well as Finnish culture and lifestyle, which are rooted in our pure nature. We have taken a holistic approach to sustainable development, moving beyond environmental concerns towards more inclusive industry that secures the vitality of our communities while reducing economic inequalities. The new Sustainable Travel Finland label will make it easier for travel traders and consumers to recognize responsible tourism companies and destinations. By choosing a Sustainable Travel Finland label experience, you are directly supporting local sustainable tourism efforts and ensuring that the journey has a profoundly positive impact on the local culture and economy. The Sustainable Travel Finland program offers the Finnish tourism industry a complete toolkit to effectively adopt responsible practices. A seven-step sustainable tourism development path, which is audited on a regular basis. The destinations and companies that undergo the process successfully will eventually receive the Sustainable Travel Finland label. The label is a definitive symbol of commitment towards sustainable practices and principles. Finland is one of the happiest countries in the world. While culture celebrates equality, integrity, and safety, we Finns largely attribute our happiness to our connection with nature. Our lakes, rivers, and forests not only feed us, but also provide us with a natural well-being and place to slow down. Climate change and the pandemic have shown the urgency for holistic, sustainable travel practices. We at Visit Finland firmly believe that investing in sustainable tourism secures the long-term viability of our entire industry, creates new business, and ensures the happiness for everyone in Finland. Now and in the future. Then, next I will present an example of a Finnish travel service company that invests in responsible tourism. Yeah. Uh, the company is called Burhill Cast. Uh, the company is a family-owned Husky Kennel company. Uh, they offer outdoor activities of different lengths and levels all year round with snake dogs. The company invests heavily in sustainability and it's one of the company's ways to stand out positively in the tourism market. In these slides, we are looking at the aspects of responsible solutions in the company. So first of all, ecological responsibility. Ecological responsibility is displayed in 
wind energy and geothermal energy. For the heating is partly using by wood from the old forest. The environmental is also taken care of by sorting and composting waste. The company is also involved in a project to have charging points for electric cars. The social cultural responsibility is emphasized, among other things, by employing locals. The company is also working with local landowners to develop dog slate roads. The activity is located in a reindeer husbandry area, which is why the company wants to respect the reindeer culture. Uh, the company is uh, employing locals. Yeah, sorry, one moment. Uh, in order to develop the rural economy, economy and tourism, the company cooperates with uh, tourism companies in the surrounding areas. In addition, company uses nearby services for transportation and constructions. Um, for the employees are provided with a good workplaces and facilities. Staff training and orientation is carried out as needed. The gender equality is respected and everyone has equal opportunities. The treatment of animals is in the company also means that they are not only for entertainment use, but they are taught to quests uh, about of the world of do dogs and the group culture. Cooperation with the University of Lapland is carried out in one of the projects concerning animal welfare. The kennel operations are opened and transparency. Customers can they have an opportunity to see how and what is done with the dogs. And then communication, sustainable with the communication in the company. Company invests in responsibility and marketing communications. Responsibility, responsible communication is an important part of company's strategy. The company will continue its line on responsible communication on social media as well. Um, they have, are sharing information about dogs, their living conditions, training and feeding. The company use, use effective and attractive ways to communicate uh, responsibility. Okay, here was Jeremy Husky. We are going to this. Okay. Finally, I will give you three examples of these uh, development ideas for responsible tourism that I have given to Costa Rican tourism operators during my internship. In these uh, three next slides have a lot of texts, but I will pick up a few highlights from there. I can send this material to you later through Mildred, if you want to read more about these texts. In this example, the situation was that the new tourist area was still being planned and developing. Therefore, I recommended uh, investing in responsibility issues already in the, in the design and construction space. It's also important to make these things clear to tourists because today we uh, value holistic responsible thinking. I also emphasize the importance uh, of inclusive tourism in the proposals. In other words, it's, if it's known that region or state is safe, for example, 
for representatives of minority religions. It is worth informing about it. For many minorities, traveling is not safe in certain states, but if it's safe, it's worth to tell to, uh, that they, uh, they get information about it. Depending on the calculation method, 15 to 40 percent of the world populations need different needs for inclusive tourism. In other words, the number is high for the tourism business. In this example, I paid more attention to safety issues like first aid. I also gave attention to the welfare of animals and corals. Unfortunately, only few food tourists are aware of the harmful effects of sunscreens on marine biodiversity. Especially in Europe, animal rights are strong and we don't like the idea of attracting and feeding animals only because that tourists can see them. In addition, the role of the animal as a human entertainer is uh, questionable in the eyes of, of our Europeans, as example by the Jews or, or bullfights. In this example, the focus is on regenerative tourism. So tourists could participate to build of area better place. The focus is also in accessible tourism. And local food and nature is reasonable to combining by looking for the by self the plants of the food. Tourists can also learn more of local nature and culture. And regarding regenerative tourism, I got a tip from my friend that there is a good information in Spanish at the Turismo Regenerativo.org website. Here was my presentation. Thank you for listening. And finally, a little bit more Finnish humor and Finnish nightmares. So thank you. Gracias.